people want to experience God. They want to experience His Holy Spirit. They want to have an encounter, but they don't read their Bibles. They don't listen to sermons. They don't attend churches regularly. They don't do online meetings. They don't spend time in prayer. They don't meditate on the Word of God. Yet you want an encounter. Let me tell you, there is no encounter for you if you cannot do these simple things. You have to grow. Grow your life. Are you regenerated? Are you born again? Are you holy? Remember, without holiness, no one shall see the Lord. Let me ask you this. Are there not prostitutes in church today? Some of them are very faithful titans. Their pastors are telling them, don't worry. The grace of God covers your sin. May God bless your business. Sometimes the pastors know that these people are prostitutes. Sometimes they know that these are criminals. As a matter of fact, some pastors in Nigeria and some false prophets, false pastors, these are not pastors anyway. They will say, lift up your phone. You will pick money this week. Your clients will pay you. Who are they calling clients? Victims of internet fraud. They pray for them. They tell them, don't worry. God will bless you. You can't pray for a scammer to prosper. Everyone should work with their hands. None should be a thief. But today we have a sort of different criminals and sinners in church. 